Hello and welcome to this lecture. So today we will understand the smart services and other um, API and process model workflows. So let's start with the gateways because uh, gateways are very important and you can see that uh, currently we have one process and in this process we are not using gateways. And we'll see in this process why we need to use gateways and how we can use it and what are the gateways type. So because if I will show you the interface, you can see there is a cancel button. So currently what is happening whenever I'm clicking on submit button or when I, when I will click on the cancel button, it will follow this single path. So this is not we want, right? User can also click on cancel button. Maybe the maybe user don't want to submit the form. So what will happen in this scenario? It will only follow this path and it will again go to data store entity, right? To data store entity with empty values. So this is not we want. So for that purpose, for the exception handling as well as for the error handling, we can use gateways to redirect the path at the correct position. So now in this scenario, we need to use XOR gateway. And uh, what is XOR gateway? Basically, XOR gateway is like the inputs can be multiple and output can also be multiple, but the executable path can only be one. It means only single path will be executed from XOR gateway. So let's configure this inside my process and uh, let's rename this to cancel and question mark. And now what I need to check if the user is canceling this form, then it will go to this path. And if user is submitting this form, then it will write the data. So now I need to get inside the decision. So here you can see incoming path can one be one, one or more and the outgoing path can be one or more, but only one get executed right so if you can see that if i'll click on new condition and then new condition it's a if else if loop right if else if else if else if it means it will check all the condition and whichever will be the true it will execute that condition so now i only need a single condition so i will remove all these other else ifs i only need a if if the user is clicking on the cancel button i need to check this cancel button it's a boolean so it will return true or false if this is equal to true then it will go to end node otherwise it will go to write expense node that's all i can also put the label as cancel as yes and cancel as no so these labels are very helpful in a very big or lengthy process right you can see these labels are there and we can see whenever it will be no it will write if it is yes then it will end so let's test it out and I will save this again. I don't have to publish it again and again. I can debug it after saving it. So my task is in debugging. I will go to tempo. Let's see if I got the task or not. Yes, I got the task. Now I'll click on cancel. I'll go back to my process instance and let's refresh this and you can see now it follows the this path. No path. So let's also understand other gateways. So we have AND gateways, we have uh, complex gateways, we have OR gateways. So complex is a combination of OR, AND and XOR. It has everything, right? We can configure anything by using complex, right? And, uh, AND is basically whenever we need to execute some task parallelly, then we can use and for example there is one task and we need to assign that task to n number of users or let's say 10 managers then it will assign the task 10 to 10 managers parallelly right so we can do the parallel execution with and because and is like and gateway when everything will be true it will be true right and when it is true then all the outgoing path will be true so there is no condition in and you can see the decision is empty because one or more path can enter and one or more path can exit and also executed also or is slightly different in or if i will add try to add new condition then you can see it is if 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 it means whichever path will be true it will execute it it can be one or more right and inside the complex it's a combination of everything you can see we can decide the incoming paths also and we can decide the outgoing paths also so currently this complex is not attached to any of the node. So that's why zero incoming paths. So if I will attach this complex to let's say here, then you can see that there is one incoming path. I can select that if 
which path is required to run this complex gateway and to execute this means the output you can see the very first one is the end condition the second is the XOR condition you, because the executable will only be one it's a XOR you can see if else if and the third one is if 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 it's a or condition so it's a combination of and or and XOR and also we can choose the incoming and the specific we can also specify the incoming in few scenarios so this is how gateways works and according to the requirement and use case we can use it that's all for this lecture